One of my favorite things about Android is how it handles notifications, but recently things have been getting a little out of hand. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is why my Android notification shade is a mess. Few will argue the notification shade on Android is a problem. In fact, it's one of the better parts of the platform. Windows Phone, for example, doesn't even have a centralized place to check your notifications. You instead have to skim through dozens of tiles on your home screen for scattered, sparse information. Notification Center on iOS was a flattering copy of Android Shade, without the helpful information in the status bar to tell you about pending notifications. It was loosely linked to the badge notifications found in the upper right corner of app icons, except they were never really in sync with one another. The new Notification Center looks better, and it displays some useful information, but the actual notification aspect of it is no more practical or helpful than before. On Android, I've been trained to peek at the notification shade when I want to know what's happening on my phone. Anyone who has used Android for any amount of time knows this, and for all intents and purposes, it works exceptionally well. Drag downward over collapse notifications to expand them, or expand notifications one by one with a two-finger swipe down. Expanded notifications often have additional information at a glance, and actions built directly into them. For instance, I can reply to or retweet mentions on Twitter through Plume, directly from the notification shade. Dismiss with a quick and easy swipe left or right, and a short list of status icons, shortcuts, and toggles can be accessed by tapping the button in the upper right corner from within the shade, or a two-finger swipe down from the top of the display from virtually anywhere in the operating system. On tablets, the notification and quick setting shades are separated, notifications in the upper left corner, and quick settings in the upper right. Until recently, I've had literally no complaints with the way Android handles notifications. In fact, I still don't but I do have a problem with how the notification shade has become the catch-all for anything and everything ongoing. The notification shade has always been, and should have remained, the place where I look for one thing. Notifications. Except through an ongoing status and certain priority settings chosen by the developer, it's likely your notification shade is littered with a handful of non-stop notifications which are always present. Take my Moto X for example. There are currently 13 notifications in my shade. The only actual notifications are multiple emails from three different accounts, one Twitter notification from Plume, an Instagram notification, a Facebook notification, and a Hangouts message. The remaining spots are filled with the semi-permanent trusted devices notification fixed to the top position, the Nerdist podcast and pocket casts, a Wi-Fi notification, Pebble notification, the one swipe notification from Action Launcher, and Clipper. With the exception of the playing podcast, the rest are virtually always there, telling me nothing new and taking up a considerable amount of space. More importantly, they're making my notification shade a whole heck of a lot more cluttered and, as such, more difficult to read and sift through quickly. The easy answer is to uninstall and not use applications which use persistent notifications, or disable the notifications altogether. But I rely on most of these apps and services, and without them persistently present in the notification shade, the system will likely kill the app and any related connections or functionality. For instance, Pebble. It requires a notification to ensure the Pebble application is kept up and running, not closed. You can disable this notification, but the connection to your actual Pebble can get a little wonky. And it's the same for Action Launcher One Swipe Beta. If you kill the notification, either through the system or application settings, the one swipe feature, the unique ability to access widgets in your application quick drawer from within any application, may be lost. Trusted Devices is present anytime you connect your Moto X to a trusted device. This persistent notification is there, one, to remind you that your phone will not lock itself while connected, and two, so you can quickly lock the phone without disconnecting your Bluetooth device. These ongoing notifications serve a purpose, and while some developers needlessly require a notification to be persistently present in the notification shade, many of them actually need to be there to make some truly awesome functionality possible. It's not just the Moto X either, it's any Android device I use, the Nexus 5, the Nexus 7, etc. And it's only getting worse over time. I can't blame the developers for doing what Google has told them to do, but I can insist Google update the appearance of ongoing notifications to make them less obtrusive and annoying. There is a simple solution. Move all the minimum priority ongoing status messages, such as the ones from Pebble, OneSwipe, Pocket Casts, or other media playback, Clipper, trusted devices, and the like, to be in the quick settings page below all the toggles. They would be just as simple to access and view without making the notification shade a stress-inducing mixture of important information and virtual placeholders. 
Leave a comment below and tell us how you think Google should differentiate and separate actual notifications from an ongoing status that never changes. That's going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to click the thumbs up button below and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this one in the future. Leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions, and follow us in all the usual places, Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus at PocketNow. I'm Taylor Martin. You can find me on Twitter at Casper Tech, and I will see you next time.